This is the course Mechanical Vibration. In this presentation, we'll do the analysis of a step function and the most important parameters to describe this response. This is part of the chapter 4 of our textbook Mechanical Vibrations of Rao. The function is a piecewise function that can be described as 0 for a time less than 0 and f sub 0 for a time greater than 0. And we already found the response for this type of function, which is this one right here. And we can also write it as this one right here. We call g dt when it's a unitary step function and the response for a step function, which magnitude is f sub 0, will be f sub 0 times our unitary response. For an undamped system where zeta is equals to zero, the response simplifies to this one right here, f sub zero over k, multiplied one minus cosine of omega nt. Graphically, the response looks like that for several values of zeta. This graph is the unitary response, so the value for times equals to infinity goes to one, this value over here will be f sub 0 over k, which is the static displacement. For an underdamped system, we see that the response overshoots and oscillates about the steady state value. The smaller the value of the damping radio, the larger the overshoot, and the oscillations take longer time to die out. For values of zeta greater than 0 0.7, the system doesn't oscillate and it doesn't have an overshoot. For values of zeta equal 1, we have a critically damped system. The response reaches the final or steady state value most quickly without any oscillation. For an overdamped system with zeta greater than 1, the response reaches the steady state value slowly with no overshoot because it does not oscillate. The performance and behavior of this vibrating system for transient response will be described using different parameters. In this case, we will talk about peak time, rise time, maximum overshoot, settling time, and delay time. I will talk about each of these values in the next few slides. The peak time is the time required for a response to attain the first peak of the overshoot. The maximum amount the response overshoot, MP, occurs when the derivative of the response is equal to zero. The time variation of the unit step response of an overcharge system is given by this expression right here. If we derive this expression, we have to, the derivative of one is one, then this expression is the multiplication of two functions that are function of time. So we have to derive first this expression, which is this, multiplied by the same function plus this function, the derivative of that one over here. The derivative of cosine is negative sine times the internal derivative, and this is the derivative of sine is cosine times the internal derivative. If we multiply this expression by the cosine and this expression by the this second time here, these two are equals and cancel out. So we end up only with the expression of the sign. And as you see, this term cannot be zero. This term cannot be zero. Therefore, this term over here has to become zero in order to make the derivative equal to zero. So when we make the sign equals to zero, we get that the omega d t p, which is the peak time, is equals to pi. So we can solve for the peak time and the peak time will be pi over omega d. For an underdamped system, the rise time is taken as the time required for the response to rise from 0 to 100 of the final or steady state value. That means that the final response becomes 1. Therefore, this part over here has to become 0. If we make this expression equals to 0 and we solve for tr, this part of this equation cannot be zero, therefore this part has to be zero. And that becomes a sine over cosine that becomes a tangent of this angle right here. If we solve for dr, which is the rise time, we get this expression. And with alpha equals the tangent of theta omega in omega d, we already 
use that angle before this will be the complementary angle of that one it means that it will be pi minus alpha alpha being this angle right here so the right time is defined as pi minus alpha over omega t the maximum overshoot is the maximum peak value of the response compared to the final or steady state value which is when x goes to infinity express it as a percentage of the steady state value this subtraction this peak over here if we evaluate at the peak value the response becomes this one right here but omega d goes with omega d and then i have cosine of pi which is negative one and i have sine of pi which is zero then the only value that i have left is this one plus e to the zeta omega n pi over omega d and that is what is called become the maximum overshoot the percentage overshoot can be obtained as this expression multiplied by 100 and the damping ratio for a given percentage of overshoot can be calculated with this expression right here as you recall from our previous slides is that we will have less overshoot the greater the zeta value the settling time is the time during which the response reaches and stays within two percent of the steady state value by assuming the cosine term to be approximately one because we are looking for the maximum at that time the setting time is given by the time it takes for the multiplication factor of the cosine to reach 0 0.2 this value becomes 0 0.02 assuming then that our cosine is equals to 1 we have that this value is 0 0.02 we solve for the settling time and we get this expression right here as, by, as zeta varies from 0 to 0 0.9 because we are talking about an under damp system the numerator becomes between 3.01 and 4.074 so we can approximate this value to 4 divided by zeta omega n the last parameter that we will talk about is the delay time which is defined as the time required for the response to reach 50% of the steady state value for the first time and this is this expression right here right now which is the response will be equal to 0 0.5 and in this slide, we have a summary of the most important parameters for an underdone system subjected to a step function. And this is the response. And we have a big time, which is this one right here. We have the rise time, which is this one right here, to reach 90% of the response. We have the maximum overshoot, which is the difference between the peak value and the steady state response we have the settling time when the response reaches 98 percent of the steady state value and we have the delay time is when the response reaches 50 percent steady state value